Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with the start of a series of uh, basic uh, uses of uh, OpenCPN uh, directed to our students of inland and coastal navigation and those in weather who will be using this as well. Uh, we have two other earlier videos, one on installing the program and two on loading charts, especially the quick chart view on getting this chart in. So when you start the program and you can then zoom in, you should have you should have uh, this view that looks like this of the chart, or you can zoom to it. So here's where we're starting, and we're just going to look at a few points in each one of these sections to keep them short. So let me come up here first. This is your working toolbar. You can actually move from this area here. You can grab it, move it around. Um, or you can click that, and it disappears over here, and you can click it back. So that's your working toolbar, and you can put it very, I think the groove, you have to grab it right on that little kind of gnarly part. Okay, so that's there. That's a working toolbar. And, um, and then um, what I'm going to show is just some settings. So let's go here, just so you can get started in a hurry. I want to just look at each of these. Um, I want to look at each of these and you can then just uh, have an image here of what uh, ca capture the screen or do whatever so you can see uh, settings that we'll be uh, starting with. We'll come back and probably change some of these settings but you can at least look at those and these are starting points. I'm not sure how these relate to the defaults but it won't matter. Uh, these are they and I'm going to come back and discuss a couple of these later on but just to show them all this one here has three tabs general units we're going to come back to the units here and discuss this these are all pretty straightforward and advanced so you see these are the settings you can screen capture that and look at it later uh, then we come to charts now you may have other things in here but the minimum is you should have something like this where this is the location of that chart if I shut that off the chart will go away I mean if I remove that it'll go away if I want to see my charts again I have to add directory navigate to that and add it that's discussed in earlier videos okay connections we're not doing anything fancy with connections now so it really doesn't matter what's here the boat, we're not actually connecting to GPS at the moment. Later in the course, we, we use a simulator, and then when we use a simulator, then all these things matter as well. User interface, let's see how many settings here. Okay, so you can just copy this. It's, these, are, these two are both important to keep on, and that's the way that looks. And then what's next? Plugins. And so we're not talking about plugins yet, but there's all kinds of interesting and useful plugins for this program. And here's where you interact with them. So that's the basic settings. And we'll come back to that. Okay, so now um, there's also something that lets that thing go transparent. Um, you, know, you can play with that yourself. Um, now let's see one thing now I'm zooming by rolling the rolling the mouse in the next in the next short basic video I'm going to talk about zooming and you know this is chart display and scales but I'm not doing this one's not going to do that but there's one key that we need from day one step one and that's the M key you press the M key and it draws that it puts that pencil out which I'm moving around with a mouse not drawing anything yet then I click it once that's a left click and then, oops, let's see, now do I drag it? Oh. Well, let me escape. Escape erases it. I got, okay, so I click it once and then click it twice. Oh, I guess that's the way it works. You click it once, M, M key draws it in, one, and then wherever you go is going to draw it the next time. So that's here. And so that's just drawing range and bearing. If I draw it here, it's, it's going to keep following like that. But the escape key erases it. It's not permanent. It's just it's just uh, showing you the range and bearing between these two points. And uh, later we have other ways to do that. But this is like uh, you're seeing o, uh, 070. Okay, so that's that. So that's that M key which we have to have. Okay, now let's go. Let's look at uh, what are we looking at here? The units uh, chart as uh, units. All right, so nautical miles, knots, feet, you feet or meters, it doesn't matter. Um, well, when we do soundings and other things like that, we'll discuss the pros and cons of changing that. Latitude and longitude for weather work, for working with marine weather, you're going to probably want decimal degrees. I'll explain that later. For most of your chart work and practice problems, though, you'll want degrees and decimal minutes. 
like that. And then here's where we decide what kind of bearings are going to be. And this is an important one. Uh, uh, we're going to show true bearings. True bearings. Add. Let me apply. Okay. Now, what? what okay. So I go. Let me, okay, so I just left clicked and pulled the chart down. So that I put my come up here, I put my M key right here, click, and you see there is a 90 degrees. And when it has no label on it, that means it's true. So that's south, that's 135, something in there, something like that. That's that. It's a distance that's showing range and bearing. Now we go back here to the tools, the units. Now, let's go to magnetic, and when you go to magnetic, you shut, shut this one off, show magnetic. Now, here's, here's an important point. This chart has very, this is a training chart. I'll go back and show that a little bit later. This is a training chart, froze in um, 1998 or something like that, and we, but so it's always fixed. We don't care if buoys move or one thing or another, but because we have practice problems that are fixed. But the variation on this chart varies from about 19 and a half to 19 and three quarters degrees around this chart. But we have a rule, it's right in the front page of our workbook of all the practice problems, use 20 degrees east. And here's where when you're doing it electronically, that's where you put in 20 degrees east, east is plus. So that's that. So you apply and then say okay. So now, then, I come up here, press the M key. I can now, once I've got the M key up there, I can move this anywhere I want. Then I click here, right? Now you go over here. See, that should be 70 plus 20 is 90. 160 plus 20 is 80, and you know, and so forth. So that is that. And that's where I'm going to stop. We've got here the M key, the units, and the variation.